What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here. I found an awesome deal on Facebook Marketplace. It's a Nintendo 3DS with a little stack of games and for $80, right? I messaged her saying, hey, I'll give you the 80 right off the bat, cash, whatever. It was about two days or so went by. She finally answered me. I bet you she was getting so many messages, but because I said I'd give her her exact amount in cash, feel like she ended up responding to me, marked it as sold right now, told me to come pick it up. It's 45 minutes away. Uh, there's some good hidden gems inside of this uh, stack of games. Plus the system itself, I could probably sell for 150 right now, it's crazy. So we're gonna go pick that up and then we're gonna go thrifting in that area of the state since it's 45 minutes away. It's in a town called Berlin, Connecticut. I'm never there. So hopefully we find some cool stuff. Uh, let's go. And I've been getting a very weird amount of messages and comments on my YouTube channel about uh, my hair for some reason because I'm growing it out. I'm not really trying to grow it out. I just haven't gotten a haircut. And uh, so, yeah, it's all still here. It's all uh, long and beautiful and luscious. So uh, I'm gonna throw a hat on. Which one? Do we take the nice orange and teal dolphins or do we take the gray dolphins? I kind of like the gray, but I think I'm gonna go orange and teal. I am wearing an orange and teal dolphin sweater. So maybe that would look weird. I'm gonna go gray actually. Let's go gray with my gray sweatpants. Let's do it. There we go. No more comments. No more comments guys. It's so weird. Let's go. So we just had a beautiful fresh snow. So it's really gorgeous outside. Um, still about 40 minutes out, still got a ways to go. And I realized I don't have any cash. Well, I have 30 bucks on me. So I gotta find somewhere to get cash. Hopefully when I get to the town, I'll get some cash somewhere. Um, a little tip for you guys, whenever I don't have cash, I usually try to find a supermarket and get cash back at one of the self-checkout registers. Turn left onto Litchfield Road. Okay, phone. Um, yeah, I try to get cash back at one of the checkout registers because you don't get charged a fee like you would from an ATM. So my bank just charges crazy fees from different ATMs. So eh, just a little tip for you guys while we're driving there. So should be there in about 40 minutes. All right, guys, we are here outside the Goodwill. We're in New Britain, Connecticut. Hopefully we find some gems. Let's go. All right, guys, so first things first, we're going to head on back to the toys and board games, but I do have something very sad to say. Amazon is cracking down on used and new toys and board games, so they want all these compliance forms, so I have to phase out my board game selling on Amazon. It's a shame because I've been making a killing on board games and toys on Amazon, but you just got to roll with it. It's no big deal. We'll start moving into other venues and areas for Amazon so it is what it is guys we were checking out this sinus rinse thing for $1.99 I thought it was sealed it ended up being opened as you guys can see that box right there left that behind but I do notice this DVD VCR combo over here for $4.99 that's a pretty good price and this cool Panasonic it's like a radio CD player thing also you know affordable six dollars well that ended up not being worth much but you could see i have that dvd vcr combo in my cart as well as a couple board games and again this is going to be one of the last times i pick up board games unless they're still good for ebay if they're good for ebay i'll still pick them up now taking a look inside the glass case i notice all of these bobbleheads uh new york jets bobbleheads and i see a mark sanchez bobblehead back there he was infamous for the butt fumble <laughs> and i was, was thinking about buying it but i'm a dolphin fan i don't need anything jets related you guys can see the video games up above nothing special sadly tiny little glass case in this goodwill but right behind the glass case, there's a whole bunch of media. We got DVDs, CDs, records, and I'm just looking through real quick, seeing if I could find anything brand new sealed. And yep, oh no, that one's not new. Okay, come on, there's gotta be, there we go. We got brand new sealed. So what I'm doing is pulling out the sealed ones, setting them to the side so I could scan them all and hope that we find some winners. These DVDs were priced at $2.99, so three bucks. It's pretty, pretty much what you'll see at all the Goodwills in Connecticut anyways, about three bucks a movie. Let me know down below in the comments, what does your Goodwill or your thrift store charge for DVDs? I'm curious. Um, out of all those, none of them ended up being worth anything. I scanned every single new one just wasn't anything good there today but I find all of these 
men's prevail guards i thought they were like maxi pads but they're for men i have no idea i did end up looking them up i pull out my amazon seller app and i scan the barcode and while it's loading into Amazon here, you guys can see a whole bunch of different listings popped up. So what I'm looking for is the one with the lowest rank. And I click on this by accident, but it actually has one of the highest ranks. So we back back out and I notice uh, either which way it doesn't seem to be selling for very much. And I find the actual listing right here and they're only selling for $9.67. You'd only make four bucks after fees. I believe they were charging four bucks a piece on them. So no money to be made. Same thing with all of these de-icers. Look how destroyed, they're all rusted and gross, but there's so many of them and I don't know who donated all of these, but they are completely trashed. So I didn't even bother looking into them because of how damaged the cases were. That's not something I'd really want to sell online. So I'm just picking around here on the shelves. I haven't really found a lot when it comes to new home goods and new just anything lately. But you know what? Maybe our luck's about to change. I see this interesting 8-track and turntable combo. And right next to that, we have a turntable and a cassette tape combo. Pretty cool. I do look them both up. There's really nothing, no money in these two units right here. Sadly, I couldn't find this one specifically, but I found parts and pieces and eh, not really worth much. Now, I do get Carolina Hustler, I believe his name is in my comments, always asking me to look at the golf clubs. This is pretty much what we have in all of our thrift stores here. Nothing good. It, at least I don't think so. Let me know down below in the comments. And those were children's clubs behind but we left those and I went to the corner of the store to count the pieces in these board games. Sadly, this game right here, Talisman, was missing a bunch of pieces. But keep an eye out for it because that Talisman game sells for about $100 used even on eBay. So keep your eyes out. This one's super easy. Quirkle, only 108 pieces. Takes me about two minutes to count everything in there. All right, so sadly, we only walked out with two things. This DVD VCR combo unit it says it's been tested for power. Uh, I didn't test it fully. I'll test it when I get home, but for $5, it was worth the risk selling for over 100. And then this Quirkle game right here, uh, I sell these all the time. This was only, what, $2, I think? I don't even know where the price is. There it is, uh, $3. I usually sell these for about 20, so I got 20 right there. This sell for about 120. I still have to buy a remote and make sure it works. So after fees and everything, I'll probably make like 60 to 70 dollars on it. That's not bad. So we're at 60 to 70 plus about, and eh, let's just say 10 here. So we're at about 80 bucks. Man, I wish that talisman game was complete. Nobody is on that listing for that board game on Amazon, but I checked eBay and it sells pretty consistently for between 80 and 100 dollars. Uh, Amazon, you could probably get more, maybe like 120 crazy uh nothing i could do about it It was missing a bunch of pieces so i had to leave it same thing with that lego thing i knew i didn't really want to count the pieces i opened it up and it was just a bunch of random little toys and stuff so i knew it wasn't even worth it so uh i think that about does let me show you guys the haul the nintendo haul real quick all right here it is on my lap we have a little stack of games some good games in here some hidden gems uh, I didn't look everything up because at the $80 price point, I just figured, oh my gosh, <laughs> I just figured it was totally worth it. We also have uh, some extra styluses in here, and then the 3DS is in this case, and all of the games are in this case, but these are just the empty cases. So, uh, what I can do is actually scan these in real quick so we could take a look and see what these things are worth. Okay, so the first game here, Mario Party Island Tour, is selling for $19 on Amazon. I'll make about $12 after fees. Next game we got here, Monster High Skultimate Roller Maze. Never heard of this. Let's scan it in. Here it is, selling for $18.99. I'll make about $11 again after fees. Let's check out this Monster High game, 13 Wishes. I know some of the Monster High dolls can be worth really good money, so keep an eye out for the dolls. But uh, I don't know about the games at all. I never really, never really looked into them. You know, they're not worth a lot. You can see this one, 13 bucks. I'll make $6 on it. So what we're at, about $20 $28. Then we have Mario Kart 7. Um, yeah, that's inflated. You can see there's 
some new offers at 18 so I think we can knock five bucks at least off of this. So probably about 10-ish dollars. So what, we're at like 28, 38 dollars. So let's set these off to the side, about 38 bucks. Oh, I did not know that this one was so valuable. A $30 game right here, so $21. So we were at 38, now we're at 48, 58 just about. Let's try this, Disney Magical World. Here we go, selling for about 17, I'll make 1031. So now we're at 68. And remember, these all have cases and uh, manuals and stuff, so I can actually probably get a little bit more out of this stuff. Uh, what did we say, we're at 68 or 78? I forgot already. Uh, let's try this real quick. This Monster High game. Oh, that one's actually pretty decent. Selling for 22, so another 14. Uh, I can't remember if we were at 68 or 78. I think we were at 68, so that would make it 78, 80. Uh, we'll just we'll just say about 85. And then the last one, this Disney Magical World 2. If we're at $85, scan this one in. It's sliding on me. And this is the good one. Saving it for last. Selling for $63. Another 50 bucks. So if we're at 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130-ish, at least minimum $130 on these games right here. And then we have a Nintendo 3DS XL. So yeah, like about 130 on the games. I paid 80 for everything. Let's open this up. Here we go. It's the blue model. Very clean, very nice, works perfectly. Stylus is right there. Uh, so let's look this up. Here it is, Nintendo 3DS XL, blue, black, selling for 190 bucks at the moment. I'll make 167, so we'll just say 160 plus 130. We're at $290 minus my $80 buy cost, so $210 profit just on this 3DS stuff, a little over $200, pretty sweet, plus these things. So this is at least a $300 trip for really not too much time. I had to drive 45 minutes away, 45 minutes back. Totally do that for about $300. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.